Cash is valuable now. It wasn't valuable two years ago. There was zero return on it. So you could be sloppy with it. Is there a point in economic history in the U.S. that you would point to as an example of what we're in now? Like in the early 80s, I think there was something like this. It, again, I can't see it going into the teens like that, but um, I don't know the dynamics of the employment back then. Uh, I know there was gas fuel pro problems back then. You're talking during the like, yeah, the I, yeah. I don't, I don't see that now. I just think that this is all excess from COVID. When you have so much, you put five trillion dollars into the economy, it's got to work its way through, and you just gave people tons of money. Yeah. And I can tell you, a lot of the companies that got that money have used it all up. Right. And so, if they were had it savings, it's gone now. So now it's like. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta work profitably. And if you don't, you have to adjust yourself to do that. So. so it seems like the COVID factor makes this much more of a unique situation than we've probably yeah. seen in a while. I think it just everything's compressed tighter. Like yeah. that money went in in over two, three years. It's a lot of liquidity. It went all over the place, and now they're unwinding it, mm -hmm. and they're 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 trying to do it at a pace that they can control it. And no, nothing's perfect. So almost as a summary, you're sitting down with one of your clients today and advising them on what to do for the next six months. What are like the key things that you're telling them? You have to try to pay down debt that's floating rate that's going up that you can't control. So um, you see people holding cash. Cash is valuable now. It wasn't valuable two years ago. There was zero return on it. So you could be sloppy with and you're borrowing at 3% or 2%, it doesn't matter. But now you're paying eight and a quarter and you're getting 5% on your savings. So I say, if you have a million dollars in your checking account or 500,000 or 200,000, and you only need 100,000 to really operate, you take the 200,000 or 250 and pay your mind down. That's like getting an eight and a quarter percent return on your money because you're not paying interest. Now the banks don't want you to do this, but this is just a normal behavior. When rates are high, people think about it and then apply that money to loans that you can access get if you need it. You know, that's the challenge, right? So I, I want to be able to have access. I just want to pay the high rate right now as we're going through the cycle. And I, then I have to look at my financials. And it's, it's almost like you start every quarter and look at your expenses and then you pick two or three things that you can make adjustments to. And then you look at it again in three months and say, okay, now what do I do? Is it, is it working? Is my volume coming back? Or do I have to look at my expenses? Because the rates have been going up every month or about every six weeks. So those exercises don't stop. So you're, it sounds like you might be almost on like a two month cycle with your clients as far as taking another look at things. Where they're at. Pro right probably no more than three months. We look at it every month, but you know, it's like anything, you make these changes, it's hard to, to implement them and get them right. So you, you just have to do it at, at, a, at a place you can adjust them, but you have to keep moving forward. So there's people out there watching this video that are not a client of yours right now and they're maybe panicking a little bit. They're worried. They don't know what to do. They're not a expert like you are. Um, how can you help them? Yeah. So we're a fractional CFO company, which is not in vogue 12 years ago, but today is kind of the thing that people look at. Instead of hiring someone for hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, you can hire them a day or two a month to help you navigate these things. And so, it's now in vogue. It's a cool thing to have, and we're here to help you. And you'll be able to see the link below to get in contact with us. Well, thanks.